Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 23rd episode of Toji no Mika. So, in the last episode, uh, our characters were kind of dealing with the loss of Hiyori. Kanami kind of putting up a brave face, but she was certainly very distraught about that. Luckily, she did. She was able to convince them to let her go go attack Sugitsu, Try to I guess they were just trying to get the, the, her katana back, but in the end, they, just, they actually got both her and her katana back, so it worked out really well. Now, especially since Hiro just kind of fell straight into Konami's arms, leading to one of the best Yuri moments of the series so far. To the point where Tagitsu even comments on it, and yeah, it was definitely... It was good stuff. So yeah, let's... Uh, our gang is now back together, so hopefully we're able to, to deal with the situation better. We we're down to the last couple episodes, so we don't have a lot of time to resolve the situation, so... Let's work hard. 3, 2, 1, play. Uh, yeah, also the sky is burning. Or fallen. I mean, if you want to suck me, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> nice little uh, intimidating way to begin the episode there. But yeah, I think we can take you. You know, the power of friendship and love and all that. You really love no less, so I think we got this. I'm still hoping that you love between Yukari and Ichigishima <laughs> ends up playing a vital role. I'm just kind of hopeful for that. But yeah, last episode we also got to see that uh, Yomi's know, still alive. Still trying to protect evil Renpu ex-president chick. <laughs> uh, that amazing hand-holding. And we're back into it. Moments end. So, everybody still alive down there? She's got better things to do. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I was trying to say. I agree. We should totally have some resting together time. L sorts. Oh, right. She does like that stuff. <laughs> oh. Did you actually put 100 yen in? I guess you didn't. I mean, <laughs> the world's at stake right now. I don't think... I don't think anyone will mind. Sayaka. <laughs> I guess that solves the problem. Yeah, let's, let's, let's dig in. Yeah, there's the other ship there. Oh, wow. We've come a long way from her trying to murder her to giving her snacks. Yeah, that don't say that to her. That's her trigger. <laughs> uh, of course, Yukari's wife who's gone, which is sad. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, if you're offending Yuri, that this Rachel's trying to kill you again. Yeah, I commented on that earlier. It totally is. You know, things are bad when this guy is literally falling. Another explosion? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't worry, military guys in uniforms. These schoolgirls will help you. Huh. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, the world's over. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> well, it's not very comforting to hear. Have you tried magic? Well, I could have, I could have guessed that. Secondary concern. Basically, making the one big world. <laughs> ah, that, okay, that's bad. <laughs> we got to protect our sugar cube at all costs. It's a really cool backdrop, though. You know, silver lining. Or neuro lining. Yeah, simple solution. Like a bunch of tits, man, just still balancing that armor. Yeah, it doesn't really change anything. We still gotta beat up Princess Tagitsu. Of course, we know you well enough. I mean, he could use the names I'm familiar with, but, you know, whatever. Who are you? Rui? Uh, I think she's... I think she's had a rough time getting here. I think so. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. No wonder she's so tired. It's also the best way to get my own screen time. <laughs> Rui's a good girl. But we're all charged and ready to go, so... Get this done. Well, you know, all the adults just kind of stand around watching. Mostly. And Tagitsu just stands around looking... I don't even know what you'd call that. Evilly gleeful. Now, if I had an armor, I would always want to fight a knight because it looks the best at night. The classic Yuri nod. <laughs> uh, I would call that a bro fist, but you know. Calling it a cis fist makes it sound lewd, so... Yes, this is where it ends. Oh. Yes. And we get some blush from Hiori. <laughs> They're being, like, not barely even subtle about it anymore. I think they just kind of got rid of the subtlety, because we're nearing the end. Flowers. Uh, and the person holding them. Uh. You better still be alive there, Yomi. I know you collapsed last episode, but I didn't think you died. Please move. 
Oh. <laughs> I mean, I I guess that's kind of a ship as well, but... Uh, I did... I thought it was a bit maybe one, more one-sided than that, <laughs> but that was quite the look she gave her. Anyway. It, it literally looked like she was about thinking kissing her, but... Anyway, back to the action. <laughs> uh, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I hope you're prepared. <laughs> oh, geez, that is... That is not possible. <laughs> Looks like you missed. Uh, oh. Well, this isn't going well. But, you know, she hasn't t taken on Konami yet in this battle. And there she is. A three-way involving Konami. <laughs> Iori, and Yukari. Well, and everyone else. I guess not really a three-way at all, but you know what I mean. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, man, I, I wish I could be that badass with two swords. <laughs> Uh, push. Uh. Good thing they had the root sushi, huh? <laughs> Just head butter. Uh. Come on, Mai. She doesn't even look to worry in the slightest. They really do look just like uh, cannon fodder in her eyes. Oh, there's a different expression there. That's never a good thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, everybody else is getting a nice shippy moments. Ship shippy moments. I want to be with you too. Oh, God. Ah. <sighs> I guess we got a confirmation that she's gone. Which I kind of figured, but I didn't really want to accept it. <sighs> For some reason. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm so happy to see her get slapped, though. You know, at first I thought she just, she just killed her, but like a second I thought that. Uh, Yomi. It's honestly bad luck to be named Yomi in an anime. Uh, well, that's sad.
I consider it of you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's a high speed fighting. Here we go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. Man, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't think most many people can keep up this kind of speed this long. I mean, Hyori and Konami should be able to keep up for a while, but I feel like it'll come down to just Konami and uh, Tegitsu at the, in the end, probably. Uh, yeah, they're... <sighs> Yeah, there goes my... They're gonna go down one by one until it's just Konami. Man, really, very few series do sword fighting quite as well as this one. <laughs> uh, I bet. Oh, that got a reaction. I guess she'd be lonely. She sucked up the two other girls. Yeah, we had talked about that before. Uh, just keep telling yourself all this. <laughs> uh, it all comes down to loneliness. <laughs> that we have. <laughs> and that's what we'll do. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Well, just fight in the air. Not quite how I expected this to go. Oh, Konami? Oh no, Yukari. Apparently she's still here too. Uh, now she's upset. Ah. 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 It's just a flesh ruin, she'll be okay, right? <sighs> Konami, come in here, help. <laughs> wow, it's similar to how Hiori... That shot. It's similar to how Hiori came back to Konami. Good job.
Yes. You should hold hands while fighting. She did say that. <laughs> she did say that. <laughs> and Konami's gonna have some fun here. Yeah. <laughs> She'd do it. <laughs> exactly. It's all about her own entertainment. <laughs> I'm sure she is. They get they get along well. Very similar in some ways. And we've gotten a lot of great fight in this episode. And time to join in. <laughs> While holding hands? That's <laughs> of course. <laughs> she knows you so well. <laughs> Let's stab this girl together, Konami. Uh, double penetration, you might even call it. Uh, meanwhile, then I go. Everyone else. They're fighting at rapid speed. Yukari's not doing so well. Uh, of course, those high-speed fights like that take a certain degree of imagination because they're going extremely fast, like faster than you could possibly see. They just slow down for the audience's sake. The black hole. Uh... Uh, all of them touching swords together. In public, no less. Of course, you have Konami and Hiyori that blatantly hold hands in public. You know, I never really talked about the whole, uh, Yomi Renpu presidentship. Mostly because I never really liked the Renpu president. I kind of wanted Yomi to leave her. But always has kind of been a thing as well, but not kind of nowhere near as obvious as, say, Puri and Kaname. But this episode, they really made that obvious. Like, good god. And of course, it made the Konami Yuri one even more obvious with blatant hand holding and blushing. Stinger. How you, Moo? How you doing? You still alive? Good. I guess it's the same for Yomi. I brought water, Ayamu. And they're probably a ship too, but they're not main characters. I hope you get a chance to. So that was the 23rd episode of Toji no Mika. And this episode, we pretty much have our characters, like, they're finally all together, like even Yukari's there in that room. And we had actually kind of a nice little comic relief slice of life scene type thing uh, with snacks, which was quite a bit, which was quite fun. Uh, I never, after episode one, I did not think Yukari and Hiyori would ever have an interaction quite like that, to be honest. So that was certainly interesting. But yeah, all of them are together. They get to spend a little bit of time together. So if, if anyone does die in this overall conflict, you know, that'll be their last moment, to, that, that's like their last moment as all together. So hopefully they, they treasure that. We also got to check up on Yomi and the Renpu presidents, who, like, they're, they're currently still together. Yomi is dead, pretty much. Like, uh, just, she's been pretty much consumed by the Noro and everything. Like, she's she's basically dead. And, of course, the Renpu presidents, like, 
she hasn't shown a lot of affection for Yomi throughout the series. I guess it's just because of her personality, but now that Yomi is pretty much gone, she very much is making it, how, making it obvious how much she cares about her, you know, with the flowers and touching her face and gazing lovingly into her eyes and stuff like that, and basically saying that she was going to stay with her. But Yomi wouldn't want that, and so when Maki and them showed up, they pretty much told her as much like, no, you, you gotta go, you can't just, this, this isn't what Yomi would want, let's just, let's just leave. And they did slap her, so, you know, I, I like that. I do want to say that the handhold between Hiyori and Konami was very well done. Very well animated, I quite enjoyed that. That was just one of the best scenes of the episode. Definitely the best non-violent scene of the episode, but there was no shortage of violent scenes this episode because we had Tagitsu, all of our girls, they got their S, their S special S equipment stuff, and even Ruby came by with extra batteries for them, like climbing up 48 stairs or whatever, but she got there, she got there eventually in time. And yeah, they went out to fight Tagitsu, and they're, they're basically, we have our all-out fight, our boss battle, as they put it. And they're doing their best, but really, it's it's a difficult fight, because she's like at a whole other level, probably two levels above some of them. So it's it's difficult, but you know, Tagitsu's having fun, Kanabi's having fun, I don't know, maybe he always having a little bit of fun, I don't know, but we know at least those two are having fun. So they were, do, they were do for a while, they were doing their best to fight her, but she was just wrecking them. Then she became a high-speed battle, which one by one they were kind of getting knocked out of that because it's hard to keep up that kind of speed for very long. Unless you're Konami, who could probably do that for a while. So they were fighting like that for a while, and Hyori was basically doing her best to... She, I mean, she tried to finish it on her own, but Konami wasn't going to let that happen, so she cut her way through and went back in there. And even Yukari was getting in on the action, stabbing her from behind, trying to help out, but then she gets stabbed, and he gets knocked out of it, and it was, it was a pretty hectic battle. But Konami did bring up the fact that Tagitsu did, did mention something about her heart dancing. So she is very much enjoying this fight. Konami's enjoying this fight. It's a very entertaining fight. She's glad to have this. She's, like, throughout the entire series, she's had to deal with fighting weaklings, people that were not up to her level. And now she finally gets to have something like that with, like, a literal evil god, so... You know, it's 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 fun. Lots of fun to be had there. And now, yeah, Hiyori and Konami are fighting side by side, and it's great. It was a really good episode, full of nice action and lots of Yuri subtext with Hiyori and Konami, especially. And yeah, we only have one episode left. I guess we'll see how this is resolved. But uh, yeah, hopefully, the Nether World does not end up eating our sugar cube. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.